Hello everybody and welcome to a This Is For Warframe. With you today is Garrett, also known as Gellister, and my lovely assistant... Nathan, also known as Pity Scent. The Vanna White of Achievement Hunting, if I do say so myself. And he just did say so himself. And I don't even know what it means. Yeah. Anyways, we're talking about Warframe today, which is a free-to-play third-person shooter that's available on PS4, Steam, or available from Warframe.com if you prefer to download it directly. We personally use the Steam version, but whatever floats your boat. Uh, Warframe comes from, well, the name, I should say, comes from the suits that you're seeing run around on screen, which basically act as a class system in the game. What they allow you to do is, based on which one you pick, you get different abilities. Um, my personal favorite, for example, is the Saren, which has corrosive abilities, which allow her to weaken her enemy's armor, or even, like, melt them if she has enough energy. Mm -hmm. You really like the Rhino. I do like the Rhino because of its survivor it's survivability, survivability. It's, yeah, exactly, because um, it has a high amount of health and a high amount of shields, yeah, which definitely. really which really helps. And also, there's um, one power that it has that basically turns him invincible for a certain yeah, amount of time. Skin. Yes, and then there's another one where he can run into a big huge group of enemies and he can just throw his foot down and just. Yeah, rhino stomp. Yeah, which just, and just annihilates like everything. Throws everything yeah. in the air, and whatever doesn't die, basically, you can just shoot it up. Exactly. Right? Yeah, really handy. So we're going to look at a couple achievements that are available in this game. First off, we have uh, Secrets of the Orokin, which is find a mod. Now, mods drop really often, so this is a really easy achievement. In fact, pretty much every achievement in this game mm -hmm. is really easy. They're all really easy and straightforward. But... um. Finding a mod, like, basically they drop all the time in missions, and what these things allow you to do is mods allow you to change what your loadout works like. For example, you can add mods to your Warframe that allow it to have more health, or you can add mods to your gun, which allow it to have, like, ice damage, so it does different types of damage or more damage. Mm -hmm. um, then we also have this next achievement, which is Payday. Which earn 1,000 credits. It's that, fairly simple. Yeah. It, like, you can get that in a single mission. Yeah, you totally can. So credits are in-game currency. currency that Dinero. You, yes, that you can get from um, just completing a mission. And with, this, with these credits, you can buy blueprints for new Warframes, blueprints for new uh, weapons as well. And, like, you can also upgrade your mods. Exactly. Like it's basic, basically, it's the in-game economy that exactly. runs off of this thing. Although, there's no real economy, per se, because you can't really trade credits between you. But exactly. that, that's kind of irrelevant. Anyways, we also have the other achievements, like the mastery ones, like pole mastery, which, in, in retrospect, that's a little bit more suggestive <laughs> than I intended. But anyways, we have pole mastery 3 on here, which is that you have to achieve rank 30 in a pole type weapon. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's also pole mastery 2 and pole mastery 1 which are respectively rank 20 and rank 10 to earn those. And these these pretty much go across the board for all weapons. So basically if you get like one of every type of weapon and then upgrade it fully, you'll get like half the achievements in the game if not more. Exactly. And uh yeah, most of the achievements I find in this game are pretty much progression based. But um, I think, I guess with the time we have remaining, let's just talk a little bit about why we like Warframe. Like, for me personally, I really like Warframe because, as we've been seeing around on screen, like, the mobility of it. Like, most th third-person shooters are really stiff by comparison, but this one you can, like, flip off of walls, you can do, like, just... You're just flipping all over the place. You're, you're running on walls. It, it, it's... It's a lot of accessibility to the levels that I don't normally see mm -hmm. in games like this. Uh, you really like the versatility. I, I do think. like the versatility because you could one one mission you could be a, a rhino, the other mission you can be an Excalibur, and you can have different kinds of guns and swords, layouts, all swords, that all that kind of stuff. And it's just you could you could just complete a mission very easily by the kind of warframe that you have. Yeah, absolutely. Just based on which ones you pick, you have a lot of different variety. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that about wraps it up. Uh, again, this has been Garrett, also known as Gallister. And Nathan, also known as Pity Scent. And uh, if you have any more interest in Warframe, go check it out. Also, check out videos like this at AchievementHunter.com or the AH Community channel on YouTube. And we will see you around.